throughout history, necklaces have been a symbol of wealth, power and beauty. Necklaces have been an integral part of human culture, worn for both decorative and symbolic purposes. Across time, these adornments have always held a special place in our hearts, sparking wonder and admiration. Today, we're gonna explore the stories and history behind iconic necklaces, some of which have been worn by royalty, Hollywood icons and celebrities. So let's start our journey to the world of most famous and stunning necklaces. Before we start, please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons. Elizabeth Taylor's Bulgari Emerald Necklace The necklace was created by the legendary Italian jewelry brand Bulgari and features a series of large vibrant emeralds set in a necklace of platinum and diamonds. The necklace was purchased by Elizabeth Taylor's husband in the 1960s and quickly became one of her most treasured possessions. She wore it on numerous occasions, including to the 42nd Academy Awards in 1966, where she won the award for Best Actress for her role in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. The emeralds in the necklace are believed to have come from the historic Muso mines in Colombia, which have produced some of the world's finest emeralds for centuries. The total emeralds weighs in the necklace is around 60.50 carats. The necklace was sold at auction in 2011 for astounding $6.1 million dollars as part of the legendary Christie's auction of Elizabeth Taylor's personal collection. Cartier Patiala Necklace The Cartier Patiala Necklace is one of the most famous and legendary necklaces in the world of jewelry. The necklace was originally created by Cartier in 1928 for the Maharaja of Patiala, Bupinder Singh. The Maharaja was known for his extravagant lifestyle and love of jewelry, and he commissioned the necklace as a showpiece to showcase the immense wealth and power of his kingdom. This exceptional piece of jewelry features a staggering 2930 diamonds including a rare 236 carat de Beers diamond that was one of the largest diamonds in the world at the time of its discovery. After the necklace was completed, the Maharaja wore it only once and it was then lost for many years. In the end of 20th century, the necklace was rediscovered, but it was missing all its large valuable stones. Cartier bought the necklace and spent several years restoring to its former glory. Creation 1 by the Grisogono The necklace was created by the Swiss luxury jeweler, the Grisogono, in 2017, and it quickly became a highly sought-after piece among collectors and jewelry enthusiasts. With the centerpiece of 163.41 carat flawless D-color diamond, the necklace was designed in an asymmetrical style with the two slides flowing towards the central diamond in a rivier design. Dropping around the neck, one side of the necklace holds a rivier of baguette cut diamonds flowing from around 8 carats to 0.5. On the opposing side, the necklace is embellished with vibrant green emeralds that smother the surface with a suspended display of 66 pure cut emerald drops beside them. In 2017, the Creation One necklace was sold at Christie's auction in Geneva for a staggering $33.7 million, making it the most expensive decolored diamond ever sold at auction. Nizam of Hyderabad necklace In 1947, the monarch of Hyderabad gifted a necklace Princess Elizabeth on the occasion of her wedding. The Nizam had instructed Cartier in London to let the princess choose her own gift. The Princess Elizabeth chose two pieces, a floral tiara, which included removable elements that could be worn as brooches, and the necklace, which has been a treasured possession ever since. Elizabeth wore both of the pieces frequently during the early years of her marriage. 
The necklace is made of platinum and features approximately 300 diamonds, including a magnificent 38 carat diamond at the center. Queen Elizabeth II has worn the necklace throughout her reign and has even lent it to the Duchess of Cambridge on occasion. A Heritage in Bloom Renowned Chinese jeweler Wallace Chen made headlines in the autumn of 2015 when he unveiled a diamond necklace worth $200 million, instantly becoming the world's most expensive. Dubbed a heritage in bloom, the necklace features a remarkable 11,551 diamonds, totaling 383.4 carats, with a centerpiece of 104 carat diamond, cut from the Kalinan heritage rough diamond weighing 507.55 carats. Drawing inspiration from Chinese culture, the necklace is adorned with symbolic figures such as bats and butterflies. Hong Kong-based jewelry retailer Chow Tai Fook commissioned Chan to design the necklace after purchasing the Kalinan Heritage Diamond in 2010. The necklace took over 47,000 hours to complete and its modular design allows for it to be worn in 27 different ways. Tiffany World's Fair Necklace The World's Fair Necklace is a homage to a Tiffany necklace that was created for the 1939 World's Fair. The original necklace featured a 200 carat aquamarine stone and 429 diamonds. The new piece, however, took two years to make and boast a total of 578 diamonds, including 353 round brilliant stones and 224 custom cut baguettes. The focal point of the necklace is the Empire Diamond, an 80 carat deck color flawless diamond that takes the place of the original's aquamarine stone. The Empire Diamond is named after the Empire State Building, another iconic New York City landmark. The oval-shaped diamond is the largest and most expensive diamond ever offered for sale by Tiffany's. The luxury jewelry house has not announced yet the exact price of the diamond necklace, but experts have estimated its value up to $30 million. Hatton Mdivani Jadeite Necklace the necklace was originally commissioned by the American socialite Barbara Hutton in the 1930s. Hutton was known for her love of jewelry, and she sought out the finest and most exceptional pieces from around the world. She commissioned the necklace from Cartier, which sourced the jadeite beads from Burma, where the finest jadeite in the world is found. The necklace features 27 graduated jadeite beads that are renowned for their vivid green color and their exceptional quality. The necklace also features a diamond clasp and tassel made of diamonds and platinum. After Hutton's death, the necklace was later sold to Princess Nina Mdivani, who was also known for her exceptional collection of jewels. Mdivani family sold the necklace at auction in 2014, for a record-breaking price of $27.4 million. Diamond Necklace Affair In 1785, a scandal erupted in France known as the Diamond Necklace Affair. This involved the theft of the country's most prestigious jewel, a diamond necklace made by the renowned Parisian jewelers, Boehmer and Bassange. The necklace was comprised of 647 unblemished diamonds, with some of them being several carats in size. It was considered to be the most valuable piece of jewelry in France and potentially in the world, with estimates putting its worth at 1.5 million livres, so it may have been worth more. The affair was a result of a confidence streak which involved Catholic Cardinal Louis de Rohan and other individuals, who used the name of Marie Antoinette to facilitate the swindle. However, the evidence suggested that the Queen was not directly involved in the crime. Despite this, many Parisians were convinced of her complicity, which further damaged her already tarnished reputation. That's all for today. 
Thanks for watching. Please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons.